Hello Maker and 3D Scanning Nerds. In this video I want to show you how to use my design 3D scanning frame. In this video I was using the Raptor X 3D laser scanner. But the 3D scanning frame can be used with any 3D scanner supporting marker detection and global marker registration. Especially laser scanner which require marker for scanning such as Creality Raptor, Creality Raptor X, Revopoint Metro X or Shining 3D HX should benefit from the use of such scanning frame. Before we start, I want to tell you my motivation for designing this 3D scanning frame. First, the object can be scanned full 360 degree from top to bottom in one go. Most 3D scanning users might know how difficult the alignment of such small and flat objects can be. Another benefit of the frame is that no markers on the object is needed. This saves time for adding and removing the markers from the object. Also the scan surface does not suffer from removal of markers by 3D scanning software. But finally the main benefit is that no alignment of several scans is needed. By the use of the 3D scanning frame, the whole object can be scanned from top to bottom within only one scanning sequence. Especially the alignment of flat and featureless objects can be very difficult and time consuming. Here you can see one of such examples. The process is very simple and can be done in three steps. Step one is to register the markers by using global marker registration feature. By this, the scanning software knows the exact position of the 3D scanner 360 degree around the frame. In step two, we scan the top side of the object and pause the scan when done. In step 3, we carefully rotate the scanning frame by 180 degree and proceed scanning the bottom side of the object. First step is to register all marker dots from the frame by global marker registration. The marker dices at the edge of the frame should help to perform the global marker registration from both sides. If this is not possible with your scanner, you can temporarily add some markers around the frame to allow tracking from top side of the frame to the bottom side. It's useful to count the number of markers on your frame and then check in scanning software how many markers you already catched up. On my scanning frame I have sticked 192 markers in total and used 3mm and 6mm reflective marker dots.
after global marker registration, we start scanning the top side of the object. When scanning the object, it's recommended to increase the height of the frame to capture only points from the object and not from the floor. But if you accidentally capture points from the floor or surrounding, you can easily remove it later in the post-processing.
When the top side is done, pause it the scan and carefully rotate the frame by 180 degree. Proceed with 3D scanning of the bottom side. I recommend to unpause the scanning process from far away and then move towards the frame. This will allow to collect many markers from the back side of the frame and securely match it with the global marker scan. When the scanning of the backside is completed, you can follow the regular steps to finalize the scan. First, you should clean up the raw scan. Afterwards, generate the point cloud with the resolution required. Finally, you can close the holes and generate the mesh to export the scanned STL or OBJ object file.
Thanks for watching. I hope you find this video useful. Leave a comment below to share your experiences and ideas about the use of the scanning frame method. Happy 3D scanning!